Okay, so this is how complete the square works. Complete the square. Okay, so you are going to take whatever the term is in the middle. So let's say that you have this, 2x squared plus 6x plus 20. Okay, this is what complete the square is. You're going to take half of the 6x and you're going to put it in parentheses with x. So if this is a 6, what's half of that? 3. Okay, now, in order for this to be exactly the same, I'm only going to take part of the 20. So if this is x plus 3 squared, let's times that out. x plus 3 times x plus 3. So I have th x times x is what? Okay, then my outside is 3x. My inside is 3x. And my, not, my 3 times 3 is plus 9. Which means that I have x squared plus 6x plus 9. But how many did I actually start with at the back? 20. So if I'm only using 9 in my complete the square, how many numbers out of the 20 are going to be left out that we did not use? 11. So think about that again. All of this right here is going to include the x squared and the 6x, but it has a plus 9. So I'm borrowing 9 from the 20, and whatever's left out just has to sit at the back. Okay, let's do another one with a minus this time. Let's say that you have x squared minus 4x plus, let's say, 10. Okay, you can only take half of the middle term. So what would I put with x? Minus 2. What is 2 squared, though? 4. So I'm borrowing 4 from the 10. How many are left out of the complete the square? Six. Make sense? Okay, so this is going to be a form of rewriting that we're going to use when we're integrating. Do we want to do one more? Okay, let's do one more. Let's do plus 100x plus 300. <coughs> okay, what do I do first? Okay, x plus 50. Oh, that's really big. What's 50 squared? <laughs> Okay, way too big. Make it just a 10. <laughs> okay, what's half of 10 now? 5. What's 5 squared? And if I'm borrowing 25 from 300, how many get left out? 275. Got it? That's what complete the square is. In Algebra 2, you used it in a process to solve, but we're not solving. Yep, you did. Okay, ready? So this is integrating with complete the square integration with complete the square. Okay, so here goes. Ready? Integral of, we'll do 1 over x squared plus 4x plus 20 dx. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is complete the square on the bottom. So how, am, what, how much of the 4 can I put in parentheses? x plus 2. What's 2 squared? 4. How many of the 20 get left out? Plus 16. Everybody good to there so far? Okay, this is an arc trick, but you have to just flip the bottom around so A gets to come first. So instead of doing the X stuff plus 16, I'm going to make it 1 over 16 plus the X stuff. And now, do you notice that what's my A? Think about those problems that we were just doing. What's your A if this is a 16? 4. What's your U, the thing that's being squared? X plus 2. Then what's your DU, the derivative of X plus 2? 1 DX. Very good. Which means that when I rewrite my integral, I'm going to have 1 over A squared plus U squared. And that is your inverse tan formula. So what's it going to be? Remember, the general is 1 over a inverse tan u over a. So what is it going to be here? 1 over 4 inverse tan. Uh-huh. Plus c. So it's really not that hard as long as you understand what complete the square is to begin with. Okay? We're going to do two more, and then I'll show you which two on your homework are complete the square. Ready? Alright, next one, integral of. 
Uh, 1 over x squared minus 10x plus 29. Okay, complete the square on the bottom. What's going to go with x in the parentheses? x minus 5. Now notice, I know I'm going to have to switch it around later, so I'm just going to switch it around now. So I'm going to put x minus 5 here. And what is 5 squared? So I need to borrow 25 from the 29. How many are left over? 4 plus. Now it's already in the form that I want it to be. What's my a going to be? 2. What's my u going to be? Which means that du is just... 1 dx. Good. And as long as that's a 1, you can just go ahead and jump to the formula. I don't need you to rewrite it every time. So what's it going to be? 1 over a? 1 half. Inverse tan of u over a? Over 2. Plus c. Remember, you only leave off the plus c if it does not, if it um, has endpoints. Okay? Uh, one more and then we'll be totally done. Integral 0 to 2 of 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 5. <coughs> okay. First question, what's my complete the square going to look like? x plus how many? 1. Okay, and then what's 1 squared? So how many are left over? 4 plus. Okay, from there, you're doing your inverse trig formula. What's it going to be? Well, we can identify our parts first. What's A? 2. Two. Two, what's U? Okay, what's the derivative of X plus 1? 1 dx. Very good. So, and then when you see that your DU is a dx, you know there's no weird numbers coming to the front. Okay, from here, what is the formula for this? 1 over A? 1 over 2. Inverse tan of U over A. What's that? x plus 1 over 2. Okay, then from there I had endpoints. So we're doing that. And actually, let's change the upper boundary, change that to a 1, otherwise we can't do it. Okay, we are plugging in 1 and 0. Now, notice, I'm leaving the 1 half outside of the bracket because I just don't feel like dealing with it twice. So I'm just going to leave the 1 half on the outside. Okay, I want the inverse tan of 1 plus 1 over 2. What is that? That'd just be a 1. Very good. And what angle is going to give me a tan of 1? Because sine and cosine are the same. Pi fourths. And that's one that you should know. Okay, next we're doing 0. So I want to get 0 on top. That would be the inverse tan of what on top? It'd be 0 plus 1 is 1 over 2. And actually, you can't do the inverse tan of that. That's sad. But we'll just put number, okay? Because it doesn't work out to a pretty decimal. What would I do with those two numbers, though? Subtract. So it'd be pi fourths minus our number we would need a calculator to do, and then a one half on the outside. So fun, right? Okay, got it? All right, look at your homework on the back and try to find the two that are complete the square. Remember, you'll know it's complete the square because it'll have a 1 on top and then a bunch of x quadratics on the bottom. Uh,